hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video all right today we are going to design a flyer so let's get started so now i'm going to my file then go to print then select a5 paper size then change it to inches then leave your resolution at 300 then you click on create then here are the tests i'm going to use now apply your solid color and these are the backgrounds i'm going to use Then scale it out just a little then it's okay go to your blending mode then you change it to overlay then import this background here then you bring it down increase the size a little then go back to overlay yeah, your blending mode and change it to multiply then apply layer mask then you blend the top here then import this image then right click and rasterize it then you increase the size okay apply vertical alignment Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, then you blend the bottom here. Then I'm going to reduce the size a little. Alright. Then bring this one. Then take it to the back. Rasterize it. Now apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, then you blend it all around. Then you can see a line over there. So I'm going to select my brush then and clean up those lines. Ctrl Z Okay, we are done with that one Then right click and rasterize it Then reduce the size Reduce the size more And I'm going to leave it around here. Then duplicate it. Ctrl plus J. Why I drag this one around here. Also reduce the size. Okay. Right, this position will be okay and now I'm going to import this design here then rasterize it then you drag it and place it at the top here Then apply your Gaussian blur. Then make use of this setting. 
and I'm going to drag it down to duplicate it then you reduce the size and I'll bring this one over here then I'm going to increase I mean reduce the size alright then click on the flower and use your arrow key to adjust it then blend here Then select the flower and increase the size. Select it again. Use your arrow key to adjust it. Then I'm going to import this one. Then right click and rasterize it. Then you drag it over here. Increase it a little bit. Then I'll leave it at this position. Then I want the rose flower to come up a little. Now increase the size. Then I'm going to import this background lights. Then you rotate it vertical, that is portrait. Then I'm going to blur it using this setting then change it to screen now this is time for test Then I'm going to use the font Magnificent. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the size of the font. Then click over here and to turn this to capital letter. Then I'm going to change the font to autumn flower. Then remove the capital letter 
then go back to your test to copy ctrl plus c to copy and then ctrl plus v to paste increase the font size Then apply vertical alignment, control plus D to deselect. Then using your arrow key, Then select the test, then Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus V to paste, apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect, then use your arrow key then to bring it down. And hold your shift key while you use your arrow key to move it then reduce the size then I'm going to draw a red angle here Then copy your test here, Ctrl plus C, that is the color code, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Ctrl C to copy, then select your test tool. Then I'm going to change the font to this font here. Okay. Then I'll position it inside the right angle and scale it out. Then position it over here. Then this is where my social media icon are. So I'm going to select them while holding my shift key, then drag it over here. Then reduce the size. Then okay. Then I will group it, then you rename it, social media. All right. Then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then you can see the setting here. So I'm going to use the number here to apply a drop shadow. Then use this setting over here. So here are the 
setting I use. Twelve thirteen. Then click OK. Then I'm going to copy the layer style. Right click on this one, then paste it. Right click and paste. All right. Then hold your shift key while you select it. Then group it. And rename it. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the color. That is the background color. I have three color here. So I make use of one. So the rest of the two, I'm going to apply it. Then Ctrl plus V to paste it. So you, so you can see the outcome of this one. Then also copy this one, Ctrl plus C. Then I'll turn this one off. So you can see the outcome. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And here is the outcome of it. So let me know which one you like among, among the three. So let me know which one you like. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe then share thank you so much for watching